Welcome students, I'm Mr. Buscarini and for our first lesson we're going to see what is a physical quantity. Let's talk about you. There's a lot of things that you can say about you. What's your sense of humor? How good you look? How tall you are? What's your shoe size? Do you have a fever? How much do you weight? There's many more things that we can say about you, but what's very important is that some of these things we can measure and some of these things we cannot. So, can you measure all of these things? Let's see. We're going to deal with physical quantities and as for a definition, a physical quantity is a property of people, of substances, of things that you can measure. As we like to say, physics is the science of measurement. So we're going to stick to deal with things that you can measure. Now let's get back to you. We can measure your height, we can measure your weight, we can measure your shoe size, we can measure your body temperature. But unfortunately, we cannot measure how good you look. We can't measure if you're happy. And we can't measure your sense of humor. For this reason, we say that height, weight, shoe size, and body temperature are physical quantities. On the other hand, beauty, happiness, sense of humor, they're not physical quantities. So they're not part of the field that we call physics. We're not going to deal with them. We're going to deal with these things and similar quantities that we can measure. Since we can measure, a physical quantity will always be represented by two elements, a number and a unit. Let's make an example for myself. Uh, what is Mr. Boscarini's height? My height, that is the physical quantity, is 192 centimeters. So 192 is a number and centimeters abbreviated in cm is the unit. We can make other examples. My mass, which is 82 kilograms. My age, another physical quantity, is 41 years. And we can go on with this list. Now, how fast I am, for instance. How did I come out with these numbers? Obviously, I had to measure them. So, alongside with a number and a unit, every time I introduce a physical quantity, I have to say how I'm going to measure it. So, what tools and instruments you will need to find out these numbers. And again, going back to our body, we can easily say that to measure a height, you need a tape measure. If I want to find shoe size, I will need a ruler. If I want to find my weight, I will use a scale. And if I want to measure my body temperature, I will use a thermometer. So, what was the learning goal of this first lesson? You should be able at the end of this lesson to define what a physical quantity is. Distinguish between things which are physical quantities and things which are not physical quantities. Connected to this are the following lessons. So coming soon we will have how in physics we deal with handling numbers large and small, the units of measurement that we will use in physics, 
and the tools for measuring physical quantities.